Hi, welcome to Free. I'm Geraldine and today we're going to talk about the cell. We have started biology and the first thing is the cell. The cell is the most important unit of any living organism and any living organism is by definition made of cells. But there are two types of cells and I wanted to share with you what I know about them. So these cells are very interesting and we see many of them every day. We really don't see the cell, you know, because they are very tiny, but we do see the groups of cells. So I'm thinking, what can we compare a cell to? Could you help me with that? Because these cells are the blocks of things. Well, we can compare them to blocks. <laughs> but what else? What else can we compare them to? Oh, I got it. Okay, I have a comparison in my work. Let's say that we have cells and the cells all together make beautiful things. I mean, they alone are beautiful things, but when they get together, they, they make even more beautiful things. Um, the more specialized the cell, the more beautiful thing they will make. And then we have these two types of cells. Some are like very basic and the others are a lot more advanced. So they are separated, separated into two categories. The very basic thing I am gonna say are like grains of rice, just because it's a size we can relate to. Okay, this might not be the best examples I could think of, but you tell me if they work. Let's say these cells that are very basic are like grains of rice to me. Like you see a grain of rice and it's a grain of rice, you know what it is. And if you, you get a bunch of them together, you get rice, but nothing really new there, it's just rice. And that is the very basic way of life, let's say, for the cells that we're going to study. And then there are other cells that are a lot more organized. Like for example, let's say a Lego block. A Lego block is a Lego block. You see it, it's all there alone, it's a Lego block. But you can make, put many Lego blocks together and they'll make up a thing. They can make up a train. If you have different types of Legos, you can even make a, I don't know, a ball. Because Lego is so amazing, you can make many different things, right? So these will be more specialized cells. The Legos will be the eukaryotic cells and the grains of rice will be the prokaryotic cells. So first, let's review some important words. We already reviewed the word cell. It's in the previous video I made about biology. Go check it if you haven't already. We have the word nucleus. We have already checked that word when we did the atom. You can check that there. We have membrane. That would be a new word. It's M-E-M-B-R-A-N-E. M-E-M-B-R-A-N-E. Then we have organelles. O-R-G-A-N-E-L-L-E. O-R-G-A-N-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, organelle. We have the word gene, G-E-N-E, G-E-N-E, yeah. The genes, our genes, not the ones we wear, those are J-E-A-N-S, but the genes are inside ourselves, G-E-N-E-S. DNA, that is actually just the three letters, D-N-N-A, DNA, because nobody wants to pronounce the oxyribonucleic acid. D E O X I. No. D. I uh, really I can spell that. Uh, I better ask for reference. Never fails. Talia. Okay. D E O X Y R I B O N U C L E I C. The oxyribonucleic acid. A C I D. And that's DNA. That's why we call it DNA. <laughs> and then the names of the cells. Prokaryote and eukaryote. Prokaryote. P-R-O-K-A 
R Y O T E. B R O K A R Y O T E. Eukaryote. E U K A R Y O T E. E U K A R Y O T E. Eukaryote. So the prokaryotes are going to be like the grains of rice and the eukaryotes are going to be like the Lego blocks. The grains of rice are a lot more basic and they don't make up stuff. But the Lego blocks, they are specialized and you can even find lots of specialized ones and you can make real, like, bigger things, new things out of them. It's not just a pile of blocks. You can make things out of those blocks. So why does this happen? Because as I told you, the prokaryotes or the grains of rice are a lot more basic. And what they all have, because they are cells, is a memory. That's how they interact with their environment. They both need an, uh, a membrane. And inside the cell, they both have genetic material, the DNA. They have a membrane and they have genetic information, DNA. So to give you an example, we're going to talk about bacteria. Bacteria are prokaryotic cells. Each bacterium is one living organism. It's like a grain of rice. And they all together can just feed together what one kind of rice together, but that's it. That's what they do. They can get into, into piles. That's, and some might be a little bit more different and they can get into a different, a little bit of shape, slime, but they are very basic, so that's it. There are more, a little, ones that are a little more advanced than that, but, but they are basically basic. That's what they are. And when they get together, they don't form new things. They just get together. And let me tell you a story. Uh, I studied bacteriology and uh, we got to, you know, take a sample and put it into a Petri plate. And then we were supposed to see the bacteria grow. But I was like, kind of like, you know, where is that thing? Because when you take the sample, it's like you take a, a, a like a nail and you put nothing on the Petri dish and it's like, okay, put it in the stove and let's see what happens. I, I, never, I didn't expect anything from that. Uh, but it turned out that 24 hours later where we had, I mean, where we had just passed the, the nail. There were these cute round things that I could see. And that was really something for me. And very later I understood that that was a bunch of bacteria because they just started reproducing and just piled <laughs> just piled themselves and they were there and those are prokaryotes now if we move on into eukaryotic cells we said that they are a lot more specialized so they are a lot more advanced not only they have the membrane and the genetic material but this genetic material is in a nucleus which the prokaryotic cell doesn't have the genetic material is just there let's say it in a way I know uh, a eukaryotic cell is a lot more organized and it has a nucleus. In the nucleus, you can find all the genetic material, the DNA. There's a lot more DNA in a prokaryotic cell. There are other organelles that you won't find in, in a prokaryotic cell, but there are different types of them. Like we have studied in biology. It, you have studied that in your own language, I'm sure, that there are different kingdoms right? That there are different kingdoms and, you know, one it's the animal, the other the plants, because the cells are made differently. 
because the cells are different, so they can do different things. They have different functions. And so there are some organisms that are just one cell, but it's one, let's say, big cell, like if a bacterium is like a grain of rice, then a eukaryotic organism that is made out of just one cell is a lot bigger, like a legume block, because it's a lot, uh, uh, a very more complicated cell. And then there are other organisms that are, that are formed by hundreds of cells. Uh, so they are a little bit more complicated. And then thousands, and then us, well, a lot then <laughs> us that have different types of cells, millions of cells in our bodies, but that we make up uh, entire very complicated organisms with different, with many different types of cells to make the different types of features that we can see in ourselves and in all nature, really. So we are made of eukaryotic cells. And there's lots of things that I want to tell you about these types of cells, but, but let's leave it for another time. I'm going to leave you some links so you can learn from very intelligent people all about the cell and all the things that I am afraid of telling you. I'm leaving some links with some great videos here on YouTube about when you can look at the cells and you will get a lot more from them if you want to learn more, of course. Do you want to learn more? And if you don't, well, just don't. Thank you for watching. It means the world to me. Subscribe, share, and see you soon.